Hey, it's Rob Balasavis here. I'm excited to be with you in this video. Thanks for coming by. Let's talk about the three ways to get more live viewers to your live streams. All right, let me know how that sounds. Give us a thumbs up or say hello in the comments. All right, and uh, let's impl implement. These are three things that you can implement into your strategy as of today. As soon as this video is done, you can start doing this already for your next live streams, all right? Now, these are just three ways out of several different strategies that I usually share with my community of live streamers and content creators. But if you start with these, you'll be off to a really good start. Now, before we jump in, I wanna say a quick thank you to our friends over at StreamYard for sponsoring this video, but more of them in just a moment, all right? So let's jump into tip number one, all right? Let's not waste any time. I respect your time, so let's jump into it. The first thing that you should always be doing is collaborating with other creators. This is gonna bring you a ton of viewers to your live streams as you build your show, all right? Now, find creative ways to do that, making sure that you're always collaborating with creators in your space, at least once, if not at least twice a month, depending on how often you go live. Now, this can look like you basically inviting them to be a guest on your show, on your channel for an interview, all right? It's always really cool to have multiple people on a live stream being sort of a fly in the wall um, for a attendee or a viewer is really cool to just listen in on your conversation with other people in your industry, in your niche. All right. It can also be you inviting them to teach a mini workshop or uh, maybe even a little bit of a tutorial on a topic that your audience would find interesting. Now, you don't normally maybe cover this topic that they teach on, but it is something that you know that your audience is interested in. All right. So now your audience is going to get a ton of more value because it's going to be something that will help them, but it's not something that you necessarily have an expertise in uh, or talk about very frequently on your channel. So again, added value from your guests. Now your guest is gonna love it because they're gonna get exposure to your audience and that is always a good thing. Now you can also, what you can do is invite your guests to co-host a live Q&A session with them on your channel, all right? I do this on a regular basis. I'll have Doc Rock or Andrew Can uh, joining me for a live Q&A session on my channel here on YouTube. And so it just works out really, really well. It's a ton of value to your uh, viewers, to your subscribers, and the people that are engaging with you on your channel. Now, I do this all the time. And actually, even more so when I first started my YouTube channel, I did a lot of live stream interviews of other creators with larger following than me and more subscribers than me and I would invite them to my channel and for the most part they would always say yes they would be more than happy to jump in and add value uh, to my audience now this is also a really good way to build your network with other creators by collaborating and more often than not those creators that you invite as guests to your channel they'll also invite you back as a guest on their channels, on their live streams, on their podcast. And again, that will continue to expand your audience and your reach in your space. All right, so now let's talk about tip number two, which is schedule your live streams ahead of time. Now you can do this by using tools like StreamYard. We're gonna talk about them in just a second. And that easily allows you to schedule your live streams ahead of time on YouTube and on Facebook. All right, now by doing this, you can promote your scheduled live streams to your audiences on other social platforms, your email list, and other places where your audience hangs out. You can reach them and remind them, hey, I've got a live stream happening. Head over here and click the little reminder button. Now you can also share the scheduled live stream with your guest. If you have a guest joining you, they can also share your scheduled live stream on your channel with their social channels, with their social platforms, their social followers, on their email newsletters, and everything else that they're doing. Now, that's going to, again, expand your reach. More people will know about your upcoming live streams. Make a really nice thumbnail, right? Make a full description, because what that'll do, especially if it's on YouTube, it can get found in search, all right? Massive, massive opportunity there, and you can already have new people discovering you before you even go live, which is fantastic, all right? So you can do that 
Again, scheduling your live streams ahead of time. And now before we go to tip number three, I wanna go and just talk about our friends today. All right, big thank you to our friends over at StreamYard. Now, if you are not familiar with StreamYard yet, this is my go-to live streaming platform. I love StreamYard. I use it all the time. If you have ever caught me on a live stream, you're probably going to see StreamYard in action, right? StreamYard allows you to create so many cool things with your live show and it's all done through the browser. It's all done through the cloud. You don't have to download anything. It works on all types of computers, Macs, app, uh, you know, I was gonna say Mac and Apple, same thing, Windows, right? You can also even run this on your mobile, right? Um, so you can stream to multiple channels and pages at the same time. You can add royalty-free music. You can add your own music to the streams. You can add lower thirds. You can share your screen. You can bring in guests, like multiple guests. You can have up to, I think, nine guests at any given time. It's just gonna make your stream look so professional, all right? It's super easy to get started too. Super easy to learn. All you need to do is actually just head down to my description here of this video or in the comments down below and you can get a 14 day free trial on any of the paid plans. And I've got a ton of content to walk you through how to use StreamYard. I got a whole playlist all about it. So if you have any questions, go check those out and then also leave questions. I'm constantly making StreamYard tutorials, all right? So big thank you to StreamYard. Thank you so much StreamYard, the whole gang over there. Um, and so there you go, all right? Big thank you to StreamYard, all right? Let's get back to tip number Pretty sure we're on tip number three, all right? So tip number three, use a live stream trailer feature on YouTube. Now, if you're not familiar with the live stream trailer feature, you need to use this for every single live stream that you schedule. Very, very important. What this does is it allows you to create a short trailer video. You upload it as a uh, unlisted video, and now you can use this as a short trailer video for your live streams, all right? You can play this when anybody clicks on the scheduled live stream, they can see your short trailer. Now in this video, what I would suggest, what I do, is you can record a short 30 second trailer. Really simple, really short and sweet. It gives them a warm welcome to the potential live viewer, lets them know what to expect during the live stream, right? And then have a call to action, of course, for the viewer to click the get reminder button down below the video, all right? So what this does, it allows YouTube to send them an alert saying, hey, Rob is about to go live, or Dave is about to go live, or Shelly is about to go live, and it increases the chances of having somebody, that viewer, that potential viewer, to join your live stream, all right? So make sure you do that, all right? You can also then, little quick tip here, I always do it, is in the scheduled live stream, the chat is already there. So what you wanna do is you may want to point to, maybe you wanna put a message in the chat for your lead magnet or something that people can go and check out uh, before the live stream even starts, all right? And you can pin a comment, you can put a comment to say, hey, download my free guide on how to get started with live streaming and pin that as a comment um, and then maybe point to it and direct people to it during the live stream trailer, all right? And so, as I was going through this, I actually thought of one more tip, uh, and there's a bonus tip, all right? Tip number four, I don't have a slide for it, is to create events outside of YouTube. Now, specifically Facebook events, either on your page or group, and also LinkedIn events. Now, this way, people that may not be subscribed to you on YouTube, on your YouTube channel, can then see that you're doing live streams on YouTube. They might not even know that you're doing live streams on YouTube, right, and giving so much value away on YouTube. They may only follow you on Facebook or maybe on um, on uh, LinkedIn or maybe on Instagram. Even on Instagram, you can use a story stick a countdown sticker and you can let people know, hey, I'm going live in 12 hours over on YouTube. Make sure you, uh, you know, click the reminder here on Instagram and Instagram will send them a reminder, right? Now, be sure to make it clear that this live stream also, when you're promoting outside of YouTube, hopefully you're doing this only on YouTube. If you are, make sure that it's clear that this live stream only takes place on YouTube. You can't catch it anywhere else. You can't catch it on my Facebook page or Instagram or LinkedIn or anywhere else. It's only on YouTube. You gotta come down to my YouTube channel, all right? There's a lot of 
there's a lot of like really big benefits by doing that way especially if you want to grow your youtube channel specifically all right and so there you have it let me know which of these tips you'll put into action today and before you go please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of the other videos just like this one we're so close to 10,000 subs i would love for you to be part of that journey all right see you in the next video take care Bye bye